Welcome back to Ask the Good Doctor. I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire on Sirius XM Urban View, Channel 126, where talk empowers and becomes action. Thank you for joining us for the third segment of the show today for Solid Solutions Against Mental Health. Yes, we've been having a conversation with Marissa Porco, the CEO and president of the Jordan Porco Foundation. And joining us now is Jesus R., who is the executive director of, I probably, I'm sorry, the executive producer of the upcoming movie Suicide Saint. And together, he and the Jordan Porco Foundation have teamed up for this effort to promote Suicide Saint. Hello, Jesus. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Nice oh. to be here. Uh, oh. today. Nice to meet you. And it's always a pleasure to see you, Marissa. Yes. So happy all of you are here. As we were talking earlier with Marissa about um, the incidence of suicide in her own life. The, before we proceed, Marissa, I'd like to know how you're doing and how you have recovered and overcome. And I'm sure it's something you never recover from. But how have you, how have you been emotionally since Jordan's death? Well, as you can imagine, it's the worst thing that can happen to any parent, right? So there were some really, really dark days. Um, and, you know, I, I saw a therapist. I took medications when I needed to. I listened to people. And I let people take care of me, which isn't, yeah. you knew me before. You're like, oh, she doesn't do that. But I let people kind of nurture and take care of me. And, um, but, but what also came out of, and, and we, I was fortunate to have the opportunity to do this, is to put together this, um, foundation and between my background and uh, lots of volunteers and resources that we had we just intuitively tried to put together a program that my son would have attended that didn't have the label of something that had to do with mental health or suicide prevention so i have to tell you there's been a lot of healing in the work that i've been doing but i also know that i have to take care of myself and i've got to step back and i got to do the things that you know I, I know what my triggers are and I know when I have to just mm -hmm. take right. And, and you know what? I'm glad to hear that because I wanted that. I wanted you to speak directly to that parent who may be experiencing exactly this. And you just did. So thank you. Hey, Sue, Suicide Saint, the movie. How did you come to create such a topic? I mean, who would have think, thunk a movie about suicide? Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, most of my career, I've created content around social impact. So whether I was doing gun violence prevention or addressing child marriage or, you know, married of, of a lot of issues and societal ills. Um, when last year, when I started to put this film together uh, and I started to research the, you know, the numbers and the, and the stats and the, and, and just how prevalent uh, and how pervasive it is in society, mental health issues, and suicide, I mean, it's not, it reaches everyone. It doesn't matter if you yeah. come from privilege or adversity. Um, it's the full spectrum. Everyone in the world deals with uh, depression, anxiety, um, you know, the, the doubts, self-doubt, um, you know, insecurity. And, you know, to some degree, there's people with severe mental illness, but I think everyone uh, should focus on their mental health in general, even if they're not suffering from a particular illness, because oh, true. the less you take care of yourself, your mind is, is, is a muscle. And the less you take care of yourself, if you don't meditate, if you don't, you know, practice good um, social behaviors, if you will, and engage with people with, with you know, positive energy and kind of let, let a certain light touch you, um, you mm. can start to feel a little darkness within. And it, it could end up um, resulting in a severe illness. I yeah, mean, for, for schizophrenia, which one of our characters in the film has schizophrenia, it's 70% mm -hmm. genetic and 30% environmental. So we have to be very conscious of uh, the environment around us. And for me, that environment is is film, is media. Uh, film is one of the influential mediums in the world. Uh, yeah. We definitely uh, define ourselves by how we, how we see ourselves in, in film and in arts and culture. And we define our relationships with other people and, and other cultures and ethnic groups. Um, there's a perception that's created through film and music and different forms of entertainment where if yes. people don't have, you know, a, a contact or encounter with people from a different background or a different lifestyle, 
mm. they already have a, a predetermined uh, idea of who they think they are through those, um, you know, through that work. So it's it's important that we're very, um, that we're, we're better stewards of of the arts. And that's that we, that's it. And, and, and that we are, are, are more conscious of, of the messages that we're putting out um, for each other and more importantly for our youth. You know, for, for kids from a young age, they watch cartoons. They get a lot of their early social behavior from what they see these characters doing in cartoons. Yes. You know, as, as parents, we can teach whatever, but if they're 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 getting different inputs from friends, from, from school, from wherever, uh, we can't have control over that development process, right? It's something mm. that we can try to influence but it's an entire community that that kind of shapes and forms a person's mindset. Absolutely, absolutely. So Suicide Saint, the movie, you have teamed up with the Jordan Porco Foundation to bring awareness and the two of you together are going to be, I think it's awesome. Yeah, I was, I was so um, honored that we can collaborate in this way. Uh, last year, I, I spent most of the year traveling the country going to different, visiting different organizations that address mental health in different ways. So from uh -huh. methadone clinics in Baltimore, dealing with a drug addiction to going to Connecticut and meeting Marissa and Rachel and her and their team and seeing how they focused and addressed suicide prevention amongst college students. And when you think about suicide rates increasing 30% in the last two decades, this is a huge problem that huge. we're just not addressing collectively as as a society right so that you have organizations that are doing some work uh it's not big news in, in in you know the news machines it's not a big entertainment whenever it is depicted mm. in, in hollywood it's always um criminalized and demonizing people with illness and making them the villain so the stigma that it's create that the films create is is not positive or productive or provide any you know um solutions to us right so when i met marissa i was just blown away by her her story her passion um yeah. even being you know a creative just their creative approach how, how they put together uh um what's next uh um you know the fresh check day the national fresh check day i love that tell us pause right there tell us about the fresh check day oh the fresh check day was really um just the concept about how do you get the kids to talk about college kids to talk about mental health and and teach them a little bit about suicide prevention because again peer centered you know messaging gets heard a lot better than adults talking to kids about these issues so we developed a celebratory uplifting fair that is concentrating on mental health run by the peer groups on campus adjustable for any type of campus um and and um uh, kind of campus climate that you have to really talk about the different areas that really impact mental health. So whether it's, um, uh, you know, teaching uh, students about the warning signs of suicide, um, having them meet the folks at the, at the counseling center and just kind of bringing that, reducing the stigma of what that, you know, that door down the hall in that building, I don't want to go there, but hey, I'm getting to meet the counseling center crew. Maybe they're kind of cool. And if I need them, I know where to find them. Um, finding healthy coping skills to yes. open, other than partying, right? And, um, and getting and, drunk. Yeah, and, and, and depression screening. Some colleges do that or, or substance abuse screening. And just um, finding, finding the interactive booth, providing them with interactive booths run by the, stu the student groups on campus that really get the conversation going between the students that go. And, and one of the things about Fresh Check Day is it really – uh, cast a wide net for participation because you don't know who's going to show up. That's right. But there's t-shirts and there's music and there's therapy dogs and there's, a, you know, food, right? Fantastic. College kids are going to show up and they're going to come across from campus and they're go they're curious. Yes, and they're they are. And they're hungry. Yeah. So and they're incentives, <laughs> incentives for participation. So we've been really lucky that this approach has reached, we're in 43 states and over 250 colleges. That's Since fantastic. And um, That's kids cool. like it and schools like it. That's, That's what matters. Right. So quickly, <laughs> Jesus, will Suicide Saint be a, a limited release or a major motion picture? Oh, it's a major motion picture. We're doing, we're, you know, we're, uh, we can't say how many theaters, of course, theaters closed down this year because of COVID-19. They'll never see me again. Have you seen the movie Outbreak? <laughs> <Like> the rap. <laughs> um, so it's we're, a rap. No, 
want to make movies. I'm making some, but that I'm, we're going to TV, y'all. Yeah, well, I mean, with, with coronavirus, we're either going to get to a point where there's going to be herd immunity or we're going to have, uh, you know, vaccines. So we'll, we'll see how that, that plays out. I don't want to get into the, to the science or the no, politics. No, we're not talking that. about vaccines on this show. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> I, I will say wear, wear, wear a mask, social distance, you know, take every precaution. You know, COVID-19 is definitely Ooh, you are, you are issue. singing my song, Take Every Precaution. <laughs> take Every Precaution. Yes. Hey, Jesus, thank you for your brilliance and for your creativity to for a movie like Suicide Saint. It won't be the last we hear from you. As it comes closer and closer, we'll hear more. And Marissa, thank you so much for your tireless work with the Jordan Porco Foundation. We thank both of you for being here today and giving us some solid solutions to combat one of the mental health ills like dying by suicide. So we appreciate you. I wanna thank my team, IW, supervising producer, and Chris, technical producer and producer at large, Alexa. That does it for me. To let your eyes shine, cut back on the wine, get good food fast, and go easy on the greasy. Until next time, I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire here to help you attain and maintain your perfect health. Let's do it again next week, okay? God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.